Hi, I'm Dan Hughes, Sales Manager for ClickSend Europe. In this video, we're going to look at integrating ClickSend into an existing application of yours by using Zapier. So first things first, you need a ClickSend account, and then you simply need to head to zapier.com and create your own account there. Now, I've already got one, so I'm simply going to click on this orange button on the left-hand side to create my first Zapier. The way Zapier works is you have a trigger, so what starts the flow of subsequent actions to happen. So my trigger is going to be a click send trigger and in particular an incoming SMS. So when I get a text message back to my phone number within click send, I want these subsequent actions to happen. So I'm going to click on continue here. It's going to ask for your click send account credentials. I've already signed in, but you would simply need to head to your dashboard. Click this key at the very top here and it will give you your username and API key that you just need to input within Zapier. From here, I click on continue. Zapier always wants to do a test, and it's a good idea to do this because it will double check that it can see the data. Uh, you see here, it's found an SMS. I know that this is an incoming SMS, so I'm happy with that. I can click on continue. Next up is the action. So that trigger has to come first. The action is the subsequent step I want Zapier to take. In this, we're just going to use Google Sheets, but you would be able to search for your application. So I'm just going to use Google Sheets here. What event do I want Google Sheets to do? So what do I want Google Sheets to do once that trigger commences? I want Google Sheets to create a spreadsheet row. I'm going to continue here. It will ask me to sign in. So I've already signed in, but you would just need to put in your credentials for your application and then continue. And then where's the file stored? So mine is just stored within my Google Drive. Which spreadsheet is it? So mine is just my Zapier video spreadsheet. And which worksheet is it? So mine is just sheet one. Sometimes within a spreadsheet, you've got multiple sheets. Mine's just the first sheet. You can see here it's detected two different headers, number and message. So if I jump to my Zapier sheet quickly, you can see this is all I've got in here, number and message. But any subsequent headers that you put in would be able to be pulled through into the Zapier to gather bits of information. So the number, I can click on that, and then it's going to look at click send data that the trigger had within it. And it's going to give me some information. So it's going to give me the text message itself. Where did it come from? So that's the number I want to capture. So I click away from there. And the message, I just need to grab the body of the message. So this is a test message. And then any subsequent text messages that come in, it will capture the phone number and the body in those relevant columns. I continue here and I run a test. And it's sending that to Google. A spreadsheet group was sent. So if I jump to here, you can see here straight away, it's already grabbed that phone number and that incoming SMS message. You then publish your Zap and it is then ready to use as and when you get an inbound SMS and it will then trigger those actions to happen. Now, Zapier is an incredible tool. You can have multiple actions. So I can go one step further off the back of this. So if I just edit this one, one more, I can click this plus button down the bottom here choose an additional action to happen. So maybe I not only want to capture them in the uh, spreadsheet, but I also want to then send them a follow-up text message. So I've this time chosen click send, and you'll see I have different options available. And that's because we're now into the action section of click send rather than the trigger section you saw before. So my action is I want to send them an SMS message and I click on continue here, continue once again. Again, I've already signed in. Where's it going to? So this time, when I click on that to field, it gives me two options. It gives me that trigger application or the action of the spreadsheet. So I'm going to click on the spreadsheet. I can click on show all options here and then find that one that is called number. And that's where I want it to grab the phone number of who it's going to. Message, thanks for your message. Someone will call in two hours, for example. And from here, you can set the from address. This could be your dedicated number. It could be a business name if you're in a country that supports it. I'm just going to leave mine blank and it will just use a click send shared number. And then I can test that action if I'm ready to, or I can skip it. And for now, I'm just going to skip that test. So what we've managed to do is we've managed to build a multi-step Zap that basically means that when I get an inbound SMS, it captures that within my Google Sheets, and then it sends a reply back to that individual where they will be able to 
uh, interact with that message and it just keeps it nice and automated for us and our customers. We're going to look at another way of integrating ClickSend into your existing applications using Zapier. So I've already got my ClickSend account and I've already got my Zapier account. If you don't have one, just head to zapier.com to create one. In the top left corner, I've got this orange button. So I'm going to create my Zap by clicking there. And we then need to use our trigger. Previously, we've used maybe ClickSend. This time, I'm going to use something else. So I'm going to use Google Sheets as my trigger application, but you could maybe use your own application or your CRM, for example. So my event is a new spreadsheet row. So when a new spreadsheet row is added to that Google Sheet, follow the subsequent steps through down through the actions uh, and trigger other applications to do stuff. So Google Sheets, when a new spreadsheet row is added, continue downwards. So I'm going to continue here. I'm already signed into my account. You may need to sign into your application. So I'm going to click continue once again. Which spreadsheet is it? So clicking here, I can then choose my Zapier video spreadsheet. And which worksheet is it? It's just worksheet one. Click continue. It wants me to test that trigger. Again, this is a good idea. So I'm going to test trigger here. It's found a new spreadsheet row that was added with a phone number and a name. And if I jump to my Zapier video spreadsheet, you can see here phone number and name. Clicking on continue once more. What is the subsequent action I want to happen? And this time I want to send out a click send SMS. So the click send texting is the action rather than the trigger. So click send SMS. The event scrolling downwards here, we've got loads of options, but I'm just going to use the send SMS option. Click continue once more and continue there. Where's it going to? So I want to pull that data from my Google Sheet and grab that phone number column. What's the message going to say? So I'm going to say hi. And then what Zapier allows me to do is pull additional information in from that Google Sheet. So I want to put in that name section. So hi, name. Thanks for your inquiry. Someone will call you in two hours or whatever the message may be. Again, I can choose where it's coming from. So my dedicated number, a uh, business name if you're in a country that allows it, or leaving it blank will send from a shared number. I can then click on continue. And then it's detected that. Hi, Dan, thanks for your inquiry to that phone number. And I can test that action. What will that then mean is once this zap is turned on, so once it's published down the very bottom here, Anytime I add a phone number into the number section and their name, it will then know to trigger that text message and pull in that bespoke data. Zappy is a great tool, so you can use it with many different applications. So have a play around and reach out to the ClickSend support team if you get stuck. Thanks for your time. ClickSend is business communications solved.